Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna perform the diagnostic on throttle position sensors by actually simulating the sensors themselves. We already have a video on the channel to diagnose the throttle position sensors with a scan tool and with multimeter and I explained the wiring diagram for the throttle body as well on that video. You can find the link for that video in this video description. But the reason that I'm making this video today is because sometimes you do the inspection on the throttle position sensor, you see everything looks normal. You don't get any abnormal value, everything looks normal, but you still have throttle position sensors fault code. And of course, it can affect the engine RPM as well. You may have engine limited RPM. So in this case, problem could be from the wiring or engine control module but replacing engine control module is always risky you want to make sure if engine control module is the source of problem or not that's why simulating the sensors output is really important in this case so generally if you simulate the sensor output and you still have the problem it means the problem could be from the ECM we do this test after making sure that the throttle body itself is okay and the wiring is okay you're gonna do this test after doing everything I explained on the first video, after making sure that the throttle body and the wiring is okay. So for doing this simulation, I'm gonna have this scan tool right here to show you the live data for throttle position sensor one and throttle position sensor two values. And I'm gonna use this sensor simulator, which is launch sensor box. So this is a sensor box to simulate the sensors for us. And using this device, we're going to simulate different values for each sensor to see if we can read them from engine control module. All right, before starting the video, if you guys haven't subscribed the channel so far, please have a look at the channel page and subscribe the channel for getting the notification when we upload new videos. We also have our online courses on udemy.com where you can find more information and you can get the certificate of completion. You can find the link to our online courses in the video description as well. Let's have a look at the value on the scan tool right now. As you see, the values are normal. Just remember that right now on this car, I don't have any problem. I'm just explaining the procedure. So as you see right now, throttle body is almost closed. On the throttle body, as you may remember from the last video, we have two throttle position sensors that we call them as TPS1 and TPS2. So these two sensors are sending opposite signals. So right now the throttle body is closed. TPS1 is sending low voltage, this one, and TPS2 is sending high voltage. You need to remember that all the time, if you add these two values, you need to reach to something close to five volt, same as right now. If you add these two value, you will get something close to five volt. If you press the gas pedal, you will have increasing output voltage on TPS1 and decreasing output voltage on TPS2. But doesn't really matter how far you are pressing the gas pedal, these two values should be reaching to five volt if you add them together. So look at the value when I'm pressing the gas pedal. So as you see, I'm pressing the gas pedal, throttle body is opening. The value in TPS1 is increasing, in TPS2 is decreasing. And right now, if I hold it like this, you see, if you add these two signals together, you're gonna reach to something close to five. And if I press the gas pedal all the way to the floor, you see 4.2 almost on TPS1 and 0.78 on TPS2, which is gonna confirm good output signals on each one of them. But you need to remember that when you connect your scan tool, you are reading these values exactly from engine control module. It means throttle position sensors output are going from here to engine control module, and you are reading the values from here. So it means if there's anything wrong on the ECM, you will get wrong output signals. So as I said, after checking the throttle body and the wiring, if you are thinking that ECM is broken, but you are not 100% sure, you can do this test that we are going to do today. First of all, let's quickly have a look at the wind diagram. This is the wind diagram for this throttle position sensor. So if I disconnect the connector, so as I explained, we have two throttle position sensors on this throttle body. So what we need to find for this task is the output signals and ground. 
So as you see, TPS one output signal is on pin number six, brown wire, which is this one. This brown wire is for TPS one output signal. TPS two output signal is on a pink wire, pin number four, this one, this pink wire. And the ground wire is on pin number three, which is a gray wire, which is this one, this gray wire. By performing the simulation, we are actually providing different values from here to the engine control module. And you can change this value with the sensor simulator. So if you provide the value here and change it accordingly, you should be able to read it on this scan tool. So right now, as you see, I have disconnected the connector. On TPS1, I'm reading five volts, and on TPS2, I'm reading zero. So when I simulate it, I should see the changing value over here. If I perform the simulation and I don't see proper value on the scan tool, considering that the wiring is okay and I have tested the wiring, problem is from the ECM. Let's go for it. So this is my sensor box. This is the unit itself. This is a sensor box. Using this one, I can simulate the sensors or I can actuate the actuators as well. I will make some other videos for activating the actuators, different actuators. And this sensor box is designed for all different type of sensors and actuators on the car. So it means if you go for the throttle body, you will get exactly the same range of the voltage that you need for the throttle body. This is the good thing about it. So you have two channels in here that you can connect to different sensors. This device is connected to my scan tool right here. And on the scan tool, I have sensor box right here. If I click on the sensor box, as you see, I have different type of sensors listed in here. You just need to select your sensors between these items. I'm gonna go for throttle position sensor. So as you see on the throttle position sensor, I have exactly same range of voltage that I explained to you. So as I explained, we have two throttle position sensors and they are sending opposite signals. So as you see, one of them is sending high signal, the other one is low signal. When you are actually simulating the sensor, you can change the value from here. So this one on channel one is sending high signal. And on the channel two, we have low signal. You can go one by one to apply this range of voltage on each one of them to see if your ECM is actually reading the same range of voltage. So on the sensor simulator, I use channel one and channel two to simulate the sensor one and sensor two at the same time. You can go one by one or you can connect both of them at the very same time. So we need to use these cables to provide the power directly on the sensor connector. So this is the sensor connector. As you see the diagram again on the screen, pin number three is the ground. We need to provide the ground and we need to provide the output voltage on sensor one and sensor two signal. And because the ground on these two sensors is one common wire, providing the ground from one of them is enough. Check between female and male pins. And of course I need male pins on this connector. So I put this red on TPS one signal, which is this brown pin number six. This blue one on TPS two signal, which is pin number four, this one. And this black for a ground on pin number three, just like this. So I have inserted the cables. The other end are actually for connecting the sensor simulator cables from channel one and channel two. So I have these two ends. This is for channel two to, this is red. I put it on the red here. This is from the channel two providing the output signal on sensor one. And this is the ground, which is gonna go on the black one. I'm providing the ground on E from here. On channel one, I provide the power on sensor two, which is this one. So just like this again, this red is for simulating the voltage on sensor one. This one is for simulating the voltage on sensor two. And this is the ground. All right, I'll leave these ones here just like that. And let's get back on the scanner. So as you see, we are getting some values in here. Even if the sensor connector is disconnected, we are getting some values in here because the sensor simulator is actually simulating the voltage. So what I can do, I can actually change the values from here if I press on 
this minus or plus, I'm going to change the value. So first of all, see if we are getting proper value. On channel one, we are simulating 3.9 volts. So channel one is connected to sensor two. We are getting almost 3.9, 3.85. And on sensor one, we are getting 1.1, 1 .1, which is exactly 1.1 in here. When I change the value on channel one, is is going to affect the value on the channel two as well. Exactly like when you press the gas pedal. When throttle body is opening, the value on one sensor is dropping and the other one is increasing. So if I hold the camera like this, I'm going to change the value here and look at this too. As you see, the throttle body after simulation is showing 12% opening angle. So when I change this value, I'm changing the throttle body opening angle and these two values. Have a look. So I'm changing this value. As you see, the opening angle is changing. Sensor one signal is increasing. Sensor two signal is dropping. All right. So, and all the time, these two values should be reaching to five volt. As you see, exactly the same here. If I add up these two values, I'm gonna read to five volt. You can do it from the channel two because these two are connected to each other. So if I change the value here, it's going to affect the value on the channel one as well. I'm going to go all the way. All right. Throttle body is fully open. We are getting high value from sensor one and low value from sensor two. Pretty much close to what we had on this scan tool when sensor connector was connected. But we want to make sure that exactly this value that we are simulating in here is delivered to the ECM and ECM is showing you, showing us that value. So it means if the value that we are reading right now on the scan tool is different from what we have simulated, it means the ECU is broken because we are doing this simulation after making sure that the wiring and the ECM connector is okay and we have already tested the throttle position sensor. So if you simulate in here and you see one of these two values or both of them are different from what you are trying to simulate in here, it means the ECU is broken and you have this peace of mind that ECM is causing that problem. Otherwise, if you are getting same value exactly like right now, it means the ECM is okay and there is nothing wrong with that. So this was the procedure for simulating the throttle position sensor. We can do it for other sensors as well. I try to make more videos for other sensors and actuators as well. So we will see how we can set up the sensor box and how we can simulate each sensor or activate the actuators. Thank you very much guys for watching. Please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic videos. If you are interested to learn more, you can check our online courses on udemy.com where you can enroll to full diagnostic courses and get the certificate of completion. You can find the link to those online courses in the video description.